Hello, everybody. It's I, Friendly Neighborhood INFP, and initially, which I'm still going to do, I was going to do a Why Ming Wong is an ENTJ video. I've put that off to the side because a far more important topic in my mind has come up, and that is Type NV, uh, which has reared its ugly little head once again, and I'm pretty sure there are going to be at least some of you out there who experience a similar thing. Now, what is type envy? Well, like regular envy, it is wanting something that another person has that you don't. Um, in the case of the type, it's looking at the other type and saying, I wish I was that type. I wish I had what they had. I wish I was able to do what they're able to do. I wish I was able to see things the way they saw things and go about life the way they went about life not realizing the uh, own struggles that they have to go through if we see what they're doing and going i wish i could do that i wish i could be them i wish my life would have been so different had i been x type my life would have been so different had i been an extrovert like that my life would have been so different had i been an introvert like that that in essence is type envy. Why is it so dangerous? Well, because it forces you to not look at what you yourself are good at or what people like about you or what you contribute to things even if you feel like you don't. Um, it is one of those things that comes around due to either so low self um, esteem or uh, self-doubts or just any kind of negative uh, self-harmful types that make you think of yourself less because you think they're so much better. Um, so that doesn't help you in like finding out who you are as a person, where you want to go, what you want to do, who you want to be. And I myself have more than often fallen into this than I would like. Um, and one thing is that like type envy is also very different than um, type admiration. What type admiration uh, does is that it has a different problem or can lead into a different problem which puts people on a pedestal. And that's a completely different story. You're not wanting to necessarily be them, but you are putting them on a different kind of pedestal than, say, type envy. Because type envy, you've already got them on that pedestal or some kind of whatever and being like, man. Um, and the reason I'm talking about this is, once again, like I said, it has reared its ugly little head. I was looking at uh, some videos that I've seen. I'm pretty sure they were C users. And I'm thinking, man, if only I was that athletic. Man, if I was only able to craft that way. Man, if I was only able to do that. Man, if I was only able to... And I was like, wait, I'm, I'm having envious thoughts right now. This is not a good thing because there are certain things that I do that I'm sure other people out there are like, no, 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 that's a good thing what you're doing or we wish we were able to do the things you were able to do and we wish we were able to, like, for example, some people have a hard time being on camera talking and I have grown very comfortable with it, like overly comfortable with it. Uh, more comfortable than like talking to, well, another person. Uh, so that some people struggle with, they still struggle with going on camera yet they force themselves to do it and they wish they could be better at it. Or some people wish they could come up with ideas the way that knee users can come up with ideas. And it's just a huge mess. And not only that, not only that, I also, it dawned on me that this is also why there is an intuitive bias because sensors and intuitives have type envy now this isn't the only reason though there are there are other reasons as to why intuitive bias exists but one of the factors as to why a lot of sensors and other people mistype is because of that intuitive bias 
and type envy, which can lead either into intuitive bias or envying that type so much that you're like, yes, I'm, I definitely am that type or I definitely want to be that type. And so you end up becoming what you are not and then you struggle through your life and you're like, I'm supposed to be this type. Why is this so hard for me? Well, maybe it's due to one type envy or two intuitive bias or something else. Now, with that out of the way, how do we fix it? How do we, how do we change our viewpoint so that we do not have type envy? Uh, well, for one, it is to find that thing you are good at. Find that thing that other people like about you. Find that thing that you enjoy doing and then do it. Now, if you don't have that thing that you see yourself being super talented in or knowing what you like absolutely love doing or like any of that, that's okay. Everybody has a learning and journey process that they go through and it is okay to try and figure out those things that you are good at and things that you like to do and things that you would like to spend the rest of your life doing this is all perfectly good like it's fine it's good and yes there's going to be some failures along the way as long as you're willing to learn from those failures you can go forward but with that being said it would help knowing that like if you um sometimes you need to ask other people and be like hey what am i good at what do you think i could be good at uh what should i focus on and then you kind of self-assess go through some self-reflection uh based off of what they said that's good for some people <clears throat> other people need to take some time some time alone and self-reflect on their own they need to gauge their feelings they need to figure out what it is that they actually want to do they won't need to figure out what it is that they actually want like want in life um and some people need both they need input from others and they also need that alone time to self-reflect and other types just need to try a bunch of different stuff like go out there and try everything and see what clicks see what doesn't just throw a bunch of stuff at the wall and see what works now that isn't for everybody do not mistake my words in thinking that that is for everybody because it is not it is 100 percent not for everybody it would be for the people like C users or knee users, especially in the higher brackets where they are able to jump from one thing to the other until they find that thing that they absolutely love doing. And sometimes they may even use that journey and put it out there and get something that way too. There are a multitude of different things. The point I'm trying to come across is that once you are able to become comfortable in your own skin, once you are able to develop your own confidence, once you are able to get the affirmation you're looking for, and sometimes uh, that can take a while, and sometimes that some people struggle with that quite frequently, like myself. Uh, once you're able to get that um, attention that some people are looking for, once you're able to get that notoriety, that... Um, uh, what's the other word I'm looking for? The... Uh, prestige um or even that thing where you feel like yes this is me i'm comfortable in doing this uh and i don't need to worry about becoming whatever other type and you're comfortable in your skin and develop that confidence develop that your own kind of charisma develop your own kind of self-worth um yeah and because like when you develop that um when you come across type envy there is a lot of negative self-worth images of yourself happening there is a lot of degradation of yourself you're thinking less of yourself than you should be you should be out there um <clears throat> not being like oh i'm better than all of you you should still be humble yes but it should be you should be comfortable and confident in, enough into who you are as a person that you don't necessarily have to worry about wanting to be some other type or longing to be some other type so there is that it comes with a sense of confidence it comes with a sense of self-esteem self-worth 
uh, understanding of yourself, self-awareness especially, um, which is why I was like self-aware enough to know that, wait a minute, this is happening and this isn't necessarily a good thing because wait, I have my good qualities that other people wish they had and other people had qualities that I'm, I know I wish they had. So <clears throat> it's not this like, uh, thing that I should be like longing to be an ESFP or longing to be an ENTJ or longing to be an ESTJ or longing to be an ENFP or ENTP or whatever extrovert type out there except for ESFJs don't really care about becoming one of those um but the point I'm trying to make is that once you are able to stop longing to be something you're not and are able to become comfortable in your own skin, and this comes by doing a bunch of stuff and self-reflection and all the stuff I just mentioned, um, you are able to find yourself in a better place than you uh, were before. Um, there's a lot more that could be going into this, but I just wanted to throw this video out there because it was just something that hit me and I was like, wait, no, wait a minute. I have to talk about this. So anyways, if you like this video, please do like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.